and welcome to You Can Cook That. My name is Tracy Lynn and today I'm going to satisfy everybody's sweet tooth. What I'm going to make for you is a delicious chocolate chip pound cake from scratch. There's lots to do so let's get started. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, three cups of all-purpose flour and you want to put it in a sifter. Even though the flour says it's already pre-sifted, still sift it again. And all you want to do is just do like this so that your flour can get sifted through. Makes the batter lighter. Pound cake is already a heavy cake to begin with. So it just takes just a second to do that. Just tap the sides until we get it all mixed in together. That's our three cups of flour. Okay. Then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Put that in there. I have two sticks of butter in our mixer ready to go. It's already been softened to room temperature. And now we're going to add three cups of flour. You want to keep this on low so it doesn't splatter everywhere. And just slowly stir in your sugar until everything is all mixed together. Keep on going. Get all that sugar up. Get all that goodness. Gonna let that sit there and mix. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add six eggs. And you want to put the eggs in one at a time. I've got three eggs already here. Two eggs. Three. You always want to crack your egg into a bowl before you put it in your mixture because there is such things as getting a bad egg. So that's our fourth egg. Oh, wait till he's all in there. Our fifth egg. Our last egg. Mmm, look at that. Doesn't that just look sweet and delicious already? Okay, wipe our hands off here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our flour mixture. We're going to move our vanilla over just a little bit. Now this is very important. I have one cup of heavy whipping cream here, and then the flour, salt, and baking powder that we just sifted and put into our bowl. When making pound cake, oh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you start with flour, and end with flour. So you're gonna put flour in, rotate it with your heavy whipping cream, and then go back to your flour, just like this. Make sure your mixer's on low or you'll have flour everywhere. So just take your flour, give it a little shake or two in there. Okay, we got some flour. Let that get incorporated, and then we're gonna add our heavy whipping cream. Turn that up just a little bit. As your batter gets thicker, adjust the speed on your mixer. If you don't have a standalone mixer, you can do it by hand. Uh, with an electric mixer, you just want to keep it on a low speed. Now when we add our mixture back in, turn it down a little. Tap the side of your bowl so you don't have flour everywhere. Because you want it to go in the bowl, not on your counter or on the floor. Okay, let that get incorporated. Add some milk mixture. Turn it up a speed. There we go. Let's mix them together. Add in some more flour. Now I'm doing this without the shield being on. Now when you make it at home, you can have your shield on so that your flour doesn't splatter. Okay. And 
and then here we go with some more flour. Now be careful because you don't want to add all your flour at this point. You want to just have just a little bit of flour left in the bowl, just like that. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to add the remainder of our cream and then we're going to put that in the bowl. It's making a cake batter. So then pour in the rest of our heavy whipping cream. And then add in the rest of your flour. Okay. Okay, let that mix for just a moment. So now that we're well blended, turn it back to stir and take your two and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Make sure you use pure vanilla extract, not that imitation vanilla. Pure vanilla works the best. Just kind of Drizzle that into there and let that get incorporated. Now, if you were just going to make a bean pound cake, at this point you would turn your mixer off and put it in your butt pan that you've already sprayed with your nonstick spray so that your cake doesn't stick. Nobody wants a cake that sticks to a pan. So I've already got that prepared, greased, floured, and ready to go. But because we're making a chocolate chip pound cake, Here's your secret. Coat your chocolate chips with flour and then shake the excess flour off in a colander. What this does is it prevents your chocolate chips from sinking to the bottom of your cake. It actually makes them float, which means when you slice your pound cake, you'll have chocolate chips all throughout your pancake and not just at the bottom of the pan. Nobody wants chocolate chips just on the bottom. So now, we don't want to turn the mixture on when we do this. We want to go ahead and pop it off scrape our paddle, or if you have beaters or whatever mixture you're using, you just clean that off a little bit. Okay, get a little bit dirty. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our chocolate chips. Okay, now that we've placed our chocolate chips into our batter, you want to just simply give it a stir. Just like this, you want to just fold your chocolate chips in, just like this. Just a flick of the wrist incorporates those chocolate chips. Be sure to scrape the edges of your pan, I mean of your bowl, so that everything is well incorporated. Okay, now that we've done that, we're ready to pour it into the pan. Let's move our stuff over here. Here we go. You want to try to make this as even as possible into your pan. Just pour it in and then you can make it even later after you got everything mixed in there. Now you can use more chocolate chips if you like. I basically just used two cups of chocolate chips. Now I didn't use the semi-chocolate, I did use the, the milk chocolate, the pure milk chocolate. I feel like it adds more flavor. Okay, so then we're just going to level this off. The best way to do that is to spin your pan and hold your spatula at the same time. And that usually makes it about as even as it can get. Now that we have that all set and ready to go, we're going to bake that in a cold oven. Never put a pound cake in a hot oven. Make sure your oven is cold and then turn the temperature on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take our pound cake and put it in the oven at 350 degrees in the cold oven. Why don't you put the pound cake in, then turn your oven on. And then you want to let it bake for about an hour and 15 minutes and then pull it out of the oven and then invert it onto a plate. We've got a scoop of powdered sugar here. I'm gonna put it in our sifter and just go just like this on our cake. Perfect. We have powdered sugar on our chocolate chip pound cake, ready to enjoy with a nice cup of coffee or a cold glass of milk, and you're all set. Looks nice, tastes great. So just remember, you can make a dessert just as easy as one, two, three with chocolate chip pound cake. So you've been cooking with me, Tracy Lynn, on You Can Cook That. And remember, you can bake that.